Welcome back to Drop the Box. Today we're going to be doing an engine service on this one litre TSI Sea Ibiza. Now that the end of the tray has been taken off, this exposes the bottom of the engine. To drain your oil, you need a 90mm socket to take out the sump plug. So whilst we wait for the oil to finish draining out of the sump, Come around to the front of the engine and this is where the oil filter lives and to take this oil filter off you just need a little filter stop like this there are other ones as well that you can get but with the caps that sit over the top but this is the one I prefer to use So you do slip it over and then as you pull back then it'll grip it and turn it. And these cartridge filters shouldn't be that tight anyway. Slacken that off a bit and leave it drain. What we need to do now is grab our new filter, get a little bit of engine oil and put it around the seal of the filter just so it doesn't pinch when we put it on. And these filters just go hand tight. So that's fitted, don't forget to give it a bit of a clean. Now we can come back round to the back of the engine. And fit our new sump plug and washer. And the torque setting for the new sump plug is 30 newton meters. And again, just give the area a bit of a clean. And now we can go onto the top of the engine and change the spark plugs and the air filter. So next we're going to tackle the spark plugs. So on this little three cylinder engine there are three spark plugs and you can just see the coil packs there. There's one there, one under this pipe and then one on the end there. So to allow us to get some tidy access 
to the um, coil packs. First we need to take this breather pipe off. You take this off by pressing the two sides of the pipe there and then just pulling it back. And, we'll unclip like and then what I like to do is just stick a cable tie around here and around the pipe just to hold it out of our way. The next thing we need to do is take the electrical connectors off the coil packs. Now to do this, there's a little clip for there. What you need to do is you need to push it back that way until you hear a click. Like that. And then slowly lift it off. And take it out of the way. And do the same then for the other two. Push it up, little click. Just try and tuck them out of the way. So if we look at this here. So that's the little clip that you need to push back. As you can see there. That's what you have to move. Now we need to remove the coil packs and they're held in with one bolt. So you'll need a 10 mil socket for this. Now with all the bolts out, so all you need to do is gently lift them up, they should pop out, and remember the order that you take these out, it's always good to keep them in the same order. To remove these spark plugs, we need a 16mm spark plug socket. So spark plug removed. Before you fit your new spark plugs, it's always worth checking the holes are nice and clean so that when you put your new spark plugs in, there's not going to be any dirt or anything in the way. And grab your new spark plug. And just tighten them all the way by hand. And then you talk them up at, talk them up last. And the torque setting for these spark plugs is 22 newton meters. Once all the three spark plugs are in and torqued, you can put your coil packs back in. I'll put a little bit of grease on the end there just to help it slide over the spark plug. And simply just put it into the hole and slowly ease it down. All the way, and then take your bolt, and 
since all the coil packs are secure. You can then reconnect the electrical connectors. And again, when you're putting these connectors on, make sure you hear the click when it's fully seated. Like that. And don't forget to put our oil breather pipe back on. And that just slides over and again clips into place. And the last thing we need to change is the air filter. And this is held in by seven torque screws. And these are T25s. Just lift the top of the air box off, remove the old filter, if it needs a bit of a clean in here, clean it out, but this is actually looking pretty clean. Then grab your new filter and put it in. And just secure the seven screws. Now we need to fill our engine oil back up. And the oil capacity for this car is four litres. So fill it up with about three and a half and then check it. So now you need to start the car and leave it run for a couple of minutes. Then turn it off and check that the oil level is correct. As always, once you finish, give everything a little bit of a clean. So to reset the service light on this car, you turn the ignition off, press and hold the set button at the on the bottom of the dash and turn the ignition on. Oil reset, release it, press it again. And then that's it reset. Now that the service is complete, Take the vehicle on a road test and then bring it back and check for any leaks. As long as there's no leaks, you can then fit the under tray back uh, and that's the service complete. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And if there's anything you'd like to see in the future, please leave a comment and let us know. And we'll see you again. Thanks.